Well, I figured I'd share with you this uh, cheap way to make a flow meter. Uh, both of these were purchased at Walmart. I took the label off this one. Um, this is exactly a 500 milliliter bottle. I think I had to. I think this was uh, Lipton Lipton tea with lemon flavor, and I had to buy a six pack, I think, to get this bottle. The tea was pretty good. This is smart water, glacier water. This was from Walmart as well, and it's exactly one liter. So what I did was I got this. Uh, this tubing is actually a a fill line for a toilet. Um, I also bought a quarter inch um, T fitting, and then I bought a compression cap for the outside. Um, I was able to to compress this vertical tube, um, but through installing this, I had to uh, I had to glue that inside. There was no way to get in there to to compress the nut or tighten the nut. Uh, this is just simply uh, marine goop. So I just coated that a bunch, threw that down in there, stuck that through, and uh, and then sealed the outside. With this I took a, a cheap soldering iron, a cheap five dollar soldering iron, nothing special, and uh, I melted a hole here. What you also have to do is put a series of smaller holes all the way around here. Um, the reason I did that is I wanted a very tight fit here. So the water has to have a way to flow into the bottle. So what you simply do is you fill that with water to this, this line the 500 milliliters was actually to the neck so I just transferred that line to the outside of this. You simply just install the cap, turn your uh, your generator on and measure the flow with a stopwatch. This outside diameter is a perfect fit for inside diameter 3 8 um, It's actually a little snug um, I just use clear tubing for the uh, for the flow meter when I'm doing comparative testing. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, what I did here was because because of the taper of the bottle, I uh, I took 500 milliliters at this level and put it in two glasses that were the exact same measurement or the same shape and then just sighted the level poured it back in here and made my 250 milliliter mark so it seemed to work pretty good very cheap a few bucks four dollars I think totals what that cost me okay to show the operation I'm just gonna blow in the tube here That's 250 milliliters and 500 milliliters. To reset it, you just vent the end of the tube and use a stopwatch and calculate your liters per minute.